Okay, so I'm going to show you some green screen work on the iPad and how that works. As you can see behind me, it all starts with a green screen. This is just a green piece of muslin cloth that is taped to the wall, nothing fancy. After that, the rest is up to your own imagination. So you could be out in space with the moon and the stars very easily. Alternatively, you could be giving a weather forecast, looking for that cold front pushing in from the east. Let's go somewhere warmer. Let's think about a desert island where we have the sun setting in the background and the ships going by. All of it is done with the magic of green screen. But how do you do it? Let's take a look. Okay, so to create that video that you just watched, I used an app for the iPad called Green Screen by Doing. So I'm just going to open that, show you what that looks like. You can see here the sample project that comes with the app itself, as well as the other project I just completed. Let's do one from scratch by tapping the plus sign in the top right hand corner. And you can see here I've got a video timeline at the bottom and a video preview at the top. Now, my video was not filmed in widescreen, so if yours is the same as mine, you can tap the eye at the top there and go back to 4.3. But if you did shoot in widescreen, then that is the format you'll want. I'm just going to select my original green screen video, so by tapping on the plus in the middle, I'm doing the middle timeline because I want to put the background underneath or behind the original movie. So I can choose to film it right from the app if I want with the camera, or I can select a video or an image. So I'm going to go into my camera roll and select the video that I just used and click use. Takes a minute or two just to process the video and bring that in there. But once it is in here, you'll be able to work with this video and do some special effects to make it work. Okay, as you can see, the video is here along the middle timeline, and I can play that just to get an idea of what it looks like. Now, right now, there is a black background because I don't have anything underneath my picture. So I need to add something to the bottom track. So I'm going to add the plus sign to the bottom here. And here is where I will add an image. So let's just go into uh, my wallpaper folder here. And this time we will choose this very neutral gray background here. So you can see it fills the screen. At the top of the screen there, there's a little bit of pixelation. So what you can do is you can slide the sensitivity slider up and down a little bit until you get the right amount of green that you want showing and not showing. Now, as I do it right now, you can see it doesn't do anything. That's because I need to click on the video first and then move it up and down. There you go. So you can see how it goes really transparent all the way through. So make sure you click on the video clip and not the image clip and that will help even out your picture for you. So as I scroll through this a little bit, you now see me in the background here and starting to talk with this gray background all the way through. So let's say at one point, maybe here, I want to change the background to something else. That's not a problem. You just hit the plus sign, go back into your images, choose a different image. Let's have this one here. And from this point onwards, we now have this crazy wallpaper background on instead. So let's go ahead and add a video this time. So I'll hit the plus sign, then I tap video. And as you can see in the middle section there, there's a list of all my videos. Let's add this one of the boat that we saw in the last one. And it will compress the video again, just to make it a little bit nicer file size to work with. And throw that into your background too. So again, there you go, you can see me with the boat in the background. And really, that's all there is to it. If your video ends up being a little bit too long, like this one does, at the end there's the process where you would maybe walk on or off camera or do a cut or something like that. You just tap on the video, then press and hold on the square at the end of the clip, and you will be able to drag that video in a little bit and trim off the edge so we could trim it all the way back until we got to where the boat clip finished. Okay, And then we can scroll all the way back to where it was at the beginning. You can see the timeline there. Hit play. It's going to play the video all the way through with me looking at the camera. 
Once you're done, you just click the share button on the toolbar there and it will render the rest of the video and let you save it to the camera roll. So that is green screen by doing and it lets you do some fun green screen effects in the classroom. If you want to take things one step further, you can of course open iMovie, bring your video clip into iMovie and edit it further. You can add some titles to it, you can splice it up with other video clips you have to add, you can add sound effects and a music track and all that other good stuff that you can do inside iMovie. So just one step further to go with your green screen collaboration.